The latest now on school struggles in Hempstead. Lightning struck Prospect School last night, sparking a fire there. As they work to clean up that mess, it's just another problem for a district trying to oust its superintendent. TV 1055's Carolyn Gustoff has more in tonight's Long Island Report. One of the things that the Hempstead has been known for is a lot of corruption. He was brought in to root out corruption, but now Hempstead's new school board has voted to take steps to terminate Dr. Shimon Warrenker. This gleeful send off when Warrenker was first accused of possible bid rigging, using his own foundation to help turn around a 37% graduation rate. The district spent scarce resources investigating him. It is costing the district money and it is diverting. Attention. The state appointed distinguished educator Dr. Jack Beerworth weighing in on camera with us for the first time. He won't talk about Warren Kerr, but says he sees progress. I'll be optimistic because I am. Um, that it's going to keep on going. After viewing 37%, CBS 2's new documentary on district turmoil, Beerworth doesn't dispute alarming allegations. Dumbed down work, grade changing, no curriculum, and ultimately a graduation rate under 50% for the acceptable. last 20 years. Not acceptable. I didn't say we we're successful. I'm not trying to argue against the problems. My job. What the commissioner expected of me is to come here and help the district turn things around. Nor does he condone bitter infighting. At some point, you have to stop. It would be nice if they functioned uh, more civilly, but if they get what needs to be done, done. That is of primary importance. He projects a turnaround will take up to a decade. You can't build buildings overnight. That alone is five to ten years. Not soon enough, says Hofstra education professor Alan Singer. It is long past time that New York State take over Hempstead. The children of Hempstead cannot wait five to ten years. Beerworth says he's not removing any school board members and to skeptics. State did come in. I'm going to report lack of progress, progress that isn't fast enough, or things that go backwards. As for 37 percent, Beerworth says he does not expect June graduation numbers when released to be much better. On Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, TV 1055.